Okay, uh, I have been getting quite a few requests to show how to remove the BIOS password on the Toshiba Satellite uh, A135 laptops. Uh, I believe this will work with other models, but like I said, you would have to try it on yourself and uh, let me know if it works. Uh, the things you will need is a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and a Cat5. This is what a Cat5 cable looks like. Most uh, some people ask me, what is, it, what do I need to make a jumper? So if you have a Cat5 laying around like this, you just need one piece of this uh, cable, and uh, once you cut it, you're actually going to make a jumper, which looks kind of similar to this here. And here's the laptop that we're going to be jumpering. Um, it's a laptop from a customer that came in, it was mailed in today and we are going to remove the uh, the BIOS from this. So if you look at the model number, satellite A135-S4656, you might have a different model but the, the way you jumper it is pretty much the same. So first thing we need to do is remove the, the memory cover and some will have one or two memory uh, sticks in here. This one only has one. Remove the memory. So, um, like, like so. And then you'll have some tape on here. What you need to do is you need to actually remove the tape, the film. So, you need to peel the film off and expose the area where you're going to be working with. Sometimes you can, you might need to take out the DVD drive. So here's a screw for that. Just remove this screw and push the, 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 the drive out. Um, so the jumper you'll be working with is actually, uh, I'm going to try to see if right here, which is J1, and you'll see it. Uh, you'll be working with the bottom one that looks more like a U. The top one uh, looks like a T. So it's not necessarily a U or a T. I know some people have been saying, well, I can't find the U or the T. So here it is. I mean, it might be in a different location, but look for J1, uh, which is your jumper. And this is the one you will be using to reset it. And I tend to use the ground from the memory slots, which is here. You see, this is ground here, and this is ground. Not the memory itself, memory slot, but this is the ground section here. So one of the jumper, one part of the jumper will go here and the other will go here. So what you need to do is uh, hold it with one side and then put put the jumper down uh, and then touch touch the touch the, the ground on your memory and then touch the 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 U similar to this. Okay? And then once you do that, uh, count to 45 seconds, 1, 2, 3, 4, and all the way to 45 seconds. You might want to leave it up to a minute, 60 seconds, uh, in order to reset. And then once you do that, remove it. Again, this is ground here, and here's the jumper you'll be working with. You want to zoom in here so people know where it's at. Okay, there it is. And then once you do that, you put the film back onto it, get the laptop, and then uh, actually put the memory on. Make sure it's in there all the way. Sometimes some people tend to put it in and then the laptop won't start or turn on at all. That's usually because you put the memory in the wrong slot or it could you could have bad memory. You could have shorted out the memory. Uh, you could have caused a uh, static discharge on the memory and cause it to fail. So you want to be grounded or be in an area where you know you're uh, not going to cause that type of damage. After you do that, you can pretty much close close it and then close this. Another thing you want to do before you do that uh, is make sure that um, the battery's out. I forgot to show you guys that, but I had already jumper this machine. I just wanted to show you guys the location of the jumper. But remove the battery first. Again, remove the battery first and then uh, work on the jumper. So now we should be able to turn this laptop on and it should come up 
without a problem so uh, should see it going to there it is so it's this one's ready so it's ready to go it's done so again cat5 cable laying around or anything that's uh, I would say a 24 gauge cable which is something t similar to this one here so uh, okay if uh, there's any questions please subscribe to our channel we will not respond or allow posts from from people that are not subscribers on our channel the subscriptions actually gives us more feedbacks and promotes our video and helps us out and this will actually if it helps you out you help us out by subscribing and becoming a member and posting your comments the model that it worked on and uh, the success you actually did on jumpering it again here's the jumper and any questions any concerns Give us a uh, post of the questions, email us. But if the only reason you want to call us is if you want us to send your laptop in, if you don't feel comfortable doing it yourself. Um, but again, you have to go to our site or contact us if you want to send the laptop in for repair or for us to actually remove the jumper. If not, just post your comment and subscribe. Not necessarily in that order, but uh, do it and we'll be more than happy to help you out.